Hey, it's Ed. Today I want to show you a quick demo of one feature of a free application called Media Assistant. Now this application is free, includes a number of features. Um, I'm going to show you one of the free features, which is the MIDI file player. There's also some in-app purchases which you can get for it, which do other things like an audio editor and a few other things. I'm not going to talk about those. I'm just going to focus on the MIDI file player because I think it's a pretty cool feature and it's a free app and it's very convenient. So let's dive right in. So I'm going to open Media Assistant here. And as you can see on the left pane, I've got a number of things under my locations. Media Assistant is one of them. And this basically gives you access to all of your folders on your iPad. On the right, I've already had the folder opened. Before I opened this, it, it remembered its location. I've got a bunch of MIDI demo files here. I'm only going to play a couple for this particular demo because I don't want to make, make it too long. So I'll show you a couple things here really quick. So let me just tap on the tap on three files here. So let me do this. One two, three. And what you'll see is this is actually queued up the files. You can then reorder them if you wish and add more, remove, and so forth. So it's kind of cool for that purpose. But if you listen, you'll hear a piano file playing right now. And that was just with a single click, basically. So let me clear that out and clear that out. Now, so that's very convenient, right? Now, let me show you one more thing. So not only can you play MIDI files, there's several apps that'll let you play MIDI files. Not all apps, unless they're dedicated, typically, and usually those are gonna cost a bit of money, will let you play with your own sound font player. In this case, that's a built-in feature. So if we go here to the AA menu in the app, go under settings. Now down here near the, near the bottom of the settings, not all the way, Right here it says default sound font. If we click on use default right here, we will also get options for additional sound fonts. What I've done is I've copied the sound font files to a specific folder within the application and it will automatically let you choose from those. Now I've got sound font files that vary from looks like 11 megabytes up to about 1.7 gigabytes. I've tried them all out and they all seem to work great. Pretty standard stuff. So, seems like um, you know that it's a pretty solid app for this purpose, and I think it's worth checking out. And it's a free app, so you don't have a whole lot to lose. Now, let me quickly jump over here. Now we heard the default font, which was okay. Uh, let's try a more sophisticated one. Uh, for example, like this Compact GM, which is about 1.6 gigs. Maybe not the best, but certainly a better quality. And let's play that piano piece quickly and see how it compares. Yeah, see that's a bit better. So there you go. You got a free app that plays MIDI files, can queue them up for you, and you can select your own sound font. What's not to like? Thanks for watching.